I've been diving virtually all my life. I've had the opportunity to grow up around the ocean and have a chance to experience firsthand the amazing wonder that is under sea. It is truly like being on a different planet when you're down there. And the diversity of life that you see is, is just amazing. We've been diving the last couple of days here in Palau, speaking with the president yesterday, and you know they've taken incredible action to preserve 85% of their seascape. You know this is one of the most remote areas in the world, and you know, I mean we're in the middle of the Pacific here, and uh, it's pretty pristine diving. but you could still see plastic waste on the beach here. That plastic that comes through in droves comes from, you know, a thousand miles away. A lot of that doesn't come from kind of the local mm -hmm. area itself. The ocean plastic issue, it's a problem I've seen, you know, my entire life. I've seen it get worse and worse and worse. When you think about the sheer quantity of plastic that's in the ocean today and the effect that that has on, on sea life, it's mind-boggling. Nearly every seabird on Earth is eating plastic. By 2050, there'll be more plastic by weight in the ocean than fish by weight. How's that for a scary thought? The exponential growth of, you know, single-use plastic has been frightening. It brings to the forefront how important this ocean plastic issue is to solve. No business has a zero footprint on this planet. With S.C. Johnson, you know, close to 95% of our products today are reusable, recyclable, or compostable. Being an environmentalist is something that I grew up with. My dad was an avid environmentalist. I think his inspiration uh, rubbed off on me. So it's been part of my DNA. I love what Oceanic Society is doing and we're thrilled to be able to provide some support to that. The time is right to help build the momentum and awareness of the issue. What matters most is whether you live up to the expectations of your children. And, you know, I want my daughter to be able to take her children 40 years from now to go see the incredible things that, you know, we've seen the, the last couple days underwater here. If we don't do something about this now, it's gonna be too late. <laughs>